In this video, we are going to look at how to mark due work in Schoolbox. You can access the Quick Mark screen in a number of ways. You can click on the notification you receive when a student submits a due work item. You can access it through your submissions area by locating and then clicking on the name of the due work item. Or you can go to your class page and click on View Results next to the due work item. In the quick mark screen you will see which students have submitted or not submitted and whether a task has been submitted on time or submitted late. You can also see whether a task has been marked already and any comments you may have given them. It will say pending if it's waiting to be marked. The red square shows that the student has resubmitted and the resubmission has not yet been marked. From the quick mark screen, you can assign a student a grade using the drop down menu or add comments in the box. This could be useful for assessment tasks that do not have a rubric in Schoolbox or tasks that are not submitted online. To view an individual student's submission, click on the eye icon. You will then be taken to the individual student's submission. What you see will vary on how or what each individual student submits. For students who have submitted a Word document, PDF or PowerPoint, you will be able to use the inline grader. The inline grader allows you to mark up a student's submission with comments and feedback in line. With the inline grader, you can add comments, draw, highlight, add text, or strike out. At the bottom of the submissions page, you will see a grade box. At the bottom of the box, there is a percentage score. This score is derived from the inbuilt cheat checker function and indicates the percentage of work that is plagiarised. By clicking the percentage score, you can get a breakdown report of what has been plagiarised in the student's submission. The red text indicates that the content has been directly copied. The blue text suggests that the text may have been altered. Maybe a few words have been changed or added. And the green text shows what content has been marked with quotation marks. The source list at the top also demonstrates where the content may have been sourced from. By clicking Show Comparison, you'll be able to compare the student's document to potential sources. Back on the mark page, you can continue marking the due work by correcting the rubric. This is as simple as clicking on the descriptor that demonstrates the student's level of achievement. Depending on the mark type you've selected, this will change the result of the final grade that will appear in the grade box. If you don't have a rubric, you can use the drop-down menu to select a grade or submission state. Grade scales and options available are customised by your school, so you may have different options from what I see here. You can type additional comments in the grade box. You can also return attachments to your students. You can drag and drop files into the blue field or click on the blue field to have more options. Clicking on this field will open your computer's file browser. You could give audio feedback and add a recording. You can also access files from resources or my files within your Schoolbox instance, or access your network drive, Google Drive or Office 365, if they've been set up. You can download students' work by clicking the download arrow next to the document, or delete it by clicking the trash can. If you wish to download an annotated copy of the student's work, maybe to use as an exemplar later. You can click the three dots in the top right corner and select Download Annotated. Once you've finished marking the student's work, click Save and Continue and the next student's submission will load. Once you've finished marking all submissions for a class and you are ready to push out results to students and or parents, you will need to go back and change the mark visibility. From the Quick Mark screen, you can click the three dots and then select Modify. This will take you to the Due Work Modify screen. Then scroll down and change the mark visibility to suit the audience you want to see the results.